Note to self, next time your toilet breaks, fix it yourself. I needed a plumber and I ended up with a patient. Mario is an Italian-American immigrant slash walking stereotype mia. who came to America with nothing. Despite living together with his brother in what appears to be a bit of a Bert and Ernie situation, Mario spends most of his free time rescuing his lady love, navigating various mazes, pouncing on enemies that would make Freud blush, and breaking blocks in hopes of finding coins and power-ups. And it never seems to end. Collect stuff, break stuff, navigate levels, save the princess, and whether it be Peach, Pauline, or Daisy, None of these girls stay committed to their tireless rescuer. But why is it that Mario not only continues to repeat this premise over and over, but actually seems eager to jump into each new adventure? B.F. Skinner was also the father of a psychological theory he called operant conditioning. Skinner would suggest that Mario doesn't simply go through adventure after adventure blindly, but that he's actually learning to love this repeating behavior using operant conditioning. Mario loves breaking blocks. It's his thing. Let's look at Mario's block obsession through the lens of the first part of operant conditioning, positive reinforcement. Breaking a block results in three things for Mario, either a coin, a power-up, or nothing. All of these things are positive. The coin gives Mario points, the completely phallic mushroom gives Mario the growing and destructive powers of a penis, and the empty blocks are still really satisfying to break. Therefore, Mario learns that breaking blocks is rewarding and is more likely to continue breaking blocks when he sees them. Mario's behavior is also influenced by negative reinforcement or the removal of unpleasant stimuli to encourage certain behavior. Look at the Hammer Brothers. There's negative stimuli and that Mario is hassled by two asshole brothers who are throwing fucking hammers at his face, but over time, Mario Mario has learned that a mushroom equals not having his face caved in by a flying hammer, so he is conditioned to always seek a mushroom power-up. But Mario isn't just learning what to do, they're also teaching him what not to do. Mario was punished every time he runs into a spiny. Eventually, he learned to avoid spinies altogether, just like Mel Gibson finally learned to avoid speaking to the press or other living people. So what's the result of all this learned behavior? Mario has become a prime example of partial reinforcement effect. This is why Mario continues to bound into adventure after adventure. And even though he's never able to save the princess for good, he's been conditioned so fully that even though the princess is always in another castle, Mario simply doesn't realize that the reinforcement has stopped. So he just does it all over again. In my professional opinion, if Mario truly wishes to change, he needs some behavioral therapy. Possibly establishing a token economy system would be best. I'll reward Mario with those coins he thinks are viable currency when he displays the desired behavior. Oh, and in our next session, we should probably tackle his obvious drug problem. Princess Peach? More like Princess Molly. Hey everyone, I'm Tessa Goss, and thanks so much for watching and supporting Pop Psych. Another great way you can help us is by supporting the sponsors that make this show possible. And today, Pop Psych is sponsored by Audible. They're giving away a free audiobook to you for being a fan of the show. Isn't that crazy? So head over to audible.com slash pop and get yourself a free audiobook. And if you're looking for a book recommendation, one of our favorites is On the Road by Jack Kerouac. It's a book about self-discovery, clearly a path that Mario was on, right? Audible's got more than 150,000 audiobooks and they make it really easy. Just go to audible.com slash pop. And if you like this show, some other ways you can show your support is by liking this video and sharing it with everyone, subscribing to Wisecrack, liking us on Facebook, following Wisecrack on Twitter, all of that amazing social media stuff that rules our life. Thanks everyone.